Hey there, this is Nils Beardfoot and today we are making these mushroom braces. For this project, as for many others, we use wedge tan leather and this pattern as well as many others you also can get from my Etsy store, link below. Get your pattern scaled and print it out and transfer it on the leather and cut that out. Any box cutting knife will do just fine for cutting out and you don't necessarily have to use a half moon knife. When cutting out close corners, it can help to punch the corner with the hole punch first. Also, if you have, you can just use a laser to do all the cutting work and graving for you. On the base piece, apart from the holes for the loops, there are a few holes to help you position the top pieces later on. Next, we can start to bevel all the edges from both sides. To make the passage from this piece to the others a little bit more smooth, we want to thin out the leather on the edges on the flash side. Now we can moisten all our pieces to get them ready for tooling. Transfer the grey lines from the pattern on the leather with a pen and start with our swivel knife to cut all the lines. Next I use a background stamping tool to get a more tree-like pattern on the leather. And for more depth I use a beveler just right on the cut lines. To get even more depth I want to put some leather behind the leather pieces and press them down. I just use a few thin straps and glue them right on the back side. Around these glued straps, while this leather is still moist, I redo my beveling. The same technique I also used for two other pieces. Note that this is only optional and will make it definitely more difficult. Since this is a nature style bracer, I go with green and brown. As always, I like to use my airbrush, it's very easy to use and definitely worth the money. On the first path I just dye everything as I think it should look like and then on the second path I use some dark brown to get in a few shadows on the structure. I put on a coat of resist and also on the edges and use the moisture to burnish them. But I forgot to film it so just imagine it. With the resist dried, I put on a coat of antique gel and wipe away all the excess. To finish it, another coat of resist will just do the trick. We also need a few mushrooms, so we cut out the shape and bevel the edges and thin out the ends. After this we can moisten the mushroom completely. To get it into shape we have to fold it, especially in the center line, and hammer it down. And do this also for the sides a few times. This will make it easier for us to crumble the leather together to give it the shape that we want. Now we just have to put together the ends, open the fan a little bit and got our finished shape. Then we dye it in whatever color we like and also put on some resist and burnish the edges. Now we can position it behind leather pieces or right on them. For another mushroom we need this shape. Also bevel the edges and 
voice schnitt and thin out the ends. With the bone folder we add some lamella on the flash side. And then we dye it in our favorite color and put on some spots, but be careful it will spit everywhere. Some resist to finish it up and burnish the edges. Remoisten it and punch a few holes. Which holes we need is depending on what angle we want to position the mushroom. For the basic shape just put use the center hole and the sides at the ends and connect them with the rivet. And for the final shape just bend the body down. Depending on what holes we use we can position it behind leather pieces in different angles or with the basic shape straight on them. To get a good idea where we want to position our mushrooms make a test just like this. Now we can start to assemble the pieces and here the holes on the base will help us. We can orientate all the top pieces on it. Put the pieces on, mark the edges, rough up the leather underneath, moisten the pieces and bring it into their rough shape. And then we just glue it on. For the mushrooms, just to hold them in place for the moment, we want to mark where we have to put on some glue on both sides and then do that and glue them on. Again, we want to use the holes on the base piece to position the upper pieces. And just as before we mark the edges, just barely underneath the pieces, rough up the leather and glue it on. If you did like me glue some leather straps underneath this piece here, it is most likely that when you glued it on there still will be a gap between the glued on piece and the base. But this is fine since we're going to sew it on anyway. Now we can use an awl to cut all the way through the leather and sew it. Be sure to pull the sewing tight so you pull both pieces of leather together and close any gaps. These rivets are mainly for decoration and positioning the pieces but we have to set them anyway. And this is how your piece may look like now. As we did it for this so far, we also do it for the other pieces, just like this. To attach the bracelet to our arm, we also have to set the loops. To bring the bracelet into its final shape, you want to moisten them heavily, mainly on the flash side. And then we can start to shape it. Mostly we have to put together the round shape to fit our arm, but we also can go for both ends and bring them a little bit more into a rounded shape here on the back side, rounded to your arm and in the front a little bit rounded away. Easiest way to get the desired round shape, just put the leather strap in that you will use anyway. 
And this is it. This is how you make these leather mushroom braces. Be sure to let me know which type of mushrooms you uh, like more. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Check out my others as well as my shop link down below. And see you guys next time. Have a great day.